In this video, I will show you how to set up GitHub continuous integration and continuous deployment for Next.js with Docker on Google Cloud Platform. This is part two of the series, so please watch part one first to learn how to set up the Next.js project and deploy to Google Cloud, Cloud Platform as some things here I'll assume you already have done. So the first step you will need to do is go to GitHub and create a new repository. I already have this page open. So for the repository name, just name it whatever you like. And uh, public private is up to you and then just click create repository. All right, now we're gonna be following uh, these steps down here. One, one by one, so just copy it and then go to your terminal in the root of your project and run these commands. And now it should upload our code to this repository. So just click refresh. And you see that, all right, our code is here. Now, uh, now we need to go to your code editor and add one file so the file we'll be adding is called cloud build yaml so it'll be a yaml file so this file will basically tell google what steps to do to build and deploy our code so first thing is uh, steps here so the first step will be building the container image And here, uh, this argument will need to find the, the image name. So to do that, uh, go to your uh, console, Google Cloud Console, and search up artifact registry. And we see that, uh, so this is the folder, uh, this is the folder we made previously. So just click that. And this is their uh, image name. And here you can just copy it copy everything so just copy it paste it here and then we need to add the colon and tag as well so don't forget colon and uh, the tag so for us the tag one as you see here and finally a comma and then a single quotes and then a dot so don't forget this uh, important is important so now uh, the next step will be pushing the image to the artifact registry the name will be the same as before and the arguments will be push and then the same thing so just the image name with the clone and tag uh, you can just uh, just copy this this one. Don't forget the colon and tag. And paste it here. And that should be it for this step. The final last step will be deploying uh, this image that we just built to Google Cloud Run. Same will be uh, this one will be different. And okay, this argument was uh, we need the our service name. So to do that, uh, we search up cloud run, and we see here that this is a service name we we made previously. So just copy paste this, paste it here, and then fi finally we need the image argument. So it's, it's just the same as this. So you can just copy this with the tag. The tag and paste it and we also need the region argument so 
so for me it was yes plus two for you is uh, whatever whatever you set it to be and the last thing is uh, this part so just the images and then dash and then uh, the image name again with the tag okay so that should be it for this cloud build file and now what we're going to do is go back to console and we have the services uh, the cloud run uh, page open so just click the service here and we need to click this button set up continuous deployment so uh, for you uh, already already logged in with github so that's why it's showing up here but you will need to uh, authenticate with github so there's probably be a button here and it's just logging in to github so after you do that just select uh, your the repository you just made and then click the check mark and then go click next and then for the build type select docker file here and then click save So now it's uh, being set up. So now uh, it is attempting to deploy our code here, but it, we don't have we didn't upload the cloud build file yet, so it should fail. So now uh, what we need to do is actually click edit, edit button here, and scroll down, and you need to make sure that this is cloud build configuration file is checked here. So it should be checked, but uh, just make sure it's checked, right? And then, all right. And then now to test if everything is actually working, we're just gonna push the GitHub. So, GitHub. So we pushed, right? Go to GitHub. We see that we have a new file here, and now we refresh this page. We should it should be attempting to deploy, and we can actually go and see the logs here. It's running our steps. So this will take a few minutes. All right, now it's finally done. So everything goes well it should be uh, successful now uh, we can go here and copy the url okay and uh so now now uh, we got the continuous deployment part working but uh I forgot to actually change some code, so so this is the code we had previously. Previously, so just, let's just change this text again. So we go here, go to index uh, page. Hello, and then I'll just change this to all right. So now. Uh, I'm just going to push this new code to GitHub and it should just build and deploy uh, by itself without me doing anything else. And when I refresh uh, that page, uh, when I refresh this page, it should show the new text. So we get that. So 
let's just refresh this you see how it is building again look at the logs so again we have to uh, it does take you know a few minutes every time but that's mostly because the docker file is not really optimized so you can you could probably speed this up quite a bit if you optimize the docker file Alright, now it's done, and so uh, go here, refresh the page, and it should be our new text, so we'll just click refresh, and you see that, there you go, we have it working.